In today's video, I will show you how to do face filters with augmented reality using reality kit inside a Flutter project without using a third party library. Unfortunately, this video is only for iOS as I don't have an Android device with uh, augmented reality features. But if you help me monetize my channel by increasing my number of subscribers, I will do that as well in the future. So yeah, let's get started. So first uh, inside of a flut, this, this is a normal flutter project and inside that as you can see I have created a stateless widget and here I have just wrapped it with scaffold safe area size box and here I have created a custom widget called my air view. So if you go you have to create this file my air view dot dart and here I have just so for Android I'm just returning a placeholder uh, but for iOS I'm returning a UI kit view. Uh, and uh, it has been named as my air view so this is important whatever you have named it over here should be used same on the native side as well and this is boilerplate code which you have to write next open the ios folder inside xcode so i have already opened it uh, next what you have to do is that go to your info.plist first add this camera permission next you have to go to your runner and uh, go to general uh, and increase the deployment target to 13 because reality ticket can only be used from ios 13 and above next go to runner and also increase the deployment target over here as well make it as 13 next go to app delegate dot swift and here this is the boilerplate code which you have to write whenever you are is registering a native view only thing important is that this should be the same string what you have defined it on the dart side and this is our class my air view native view factory so i have created this swift file and i have copy pasted this uh, from the documentation only thing changed is this my air view native view everything else remains the same and here i have created my air view native view and if you have followed my previous tutorial on how to create augmented reality the code is more or less the same so here we are creating our ui view first then we are creating air view but here we are doing AR face tracking configuration. So this will automatically open the front camera of your device. Next here we are creating object of UI view and we are creating native view next. So we are adding our AR view to our view. Then we are doing NS layout constraints so that it occupies full width and height. Next uh, this is the boilerplate code which you have to write. So here you can see I have written this experience file. So this should be whatever you have named over here. So this is our reality file. This is called a reality file. I will get to get back to this in a while. Uh, so whatever you have named this file should be over here and inside. Uh, so this extension is reality and inside this re experience dot reality file. I have also created this glasses. I will tell you where exactly that has been done. So this you have to be careful. Whatever you have written in the reality file should be present over here as well. And this is how you load the file. And these are bunch of helper uh, methods which I have copy pasted it from the documentation and this should be also glasses. So now how to create this file. So what you have to do is that first you have to uh, right click on your project, create new file, uh, scroll down and click on reality composer. Okay, click on next and make sure you name it as experience. So I already have this file, so I won't create it again. Okay, so make sure you have named this as experience and here at the first time you would see a cube instead of this face. So what you have to do is that click on open in reality composer. So once you click on open in reality composer, uh, you, you will still be seeing a cube. Just click on select that cube and click on delete on your keyboard it will delete that cube and you in now you have to uh, open this anchor and select face so he, here automatically you will see a face and you have to name this as glasses now how to get this glasses or goggles or specs whatever you call it so this is a 3d model so it is a 3d model present in uhdz format so you can just google of like there are the online websites which provide 3d models in uhdz format we specifically need in uhdz format because that is the format supported by apple and more specifically reality kit so you have uh, once you down you can uh, download anything like it can be a hat it can be a mustache or any other 3d model which you might see on your face okay so you can uh, drag and drop that 3d model inside your reality composer so here uh, you can see next you have to select that model and you can uh, move it anywhere on your face so i have moved it over here and you can you know rotate it if you want you can move it back you can move it front so however you want you can do it 
so yeah uh, that's it not much to it uh, so once you run this app uh, you should be able to see uh, uh, you know uh, your face uh, with uh, the specs on so yeah pretty simple right so yeah thank you for watching bye